they couldn't keep the items on the shelves. You know, if there's anything that New Yorkers like, it's things that are illegal and embargoed. So, they, so people came. My name is Joanne Kwong. I'm president of Pearl River Mart. Um, it was started as a political statement, in a way, and over the next five decades, it became a store that New Yorkers loved. Do you have the lanterns? Oh, that's okay. And can you, can you bring up two friendship boxes? Pearl River was started in 1971 by my in-laws. They were actually part of a group of young activists that were trying to make sense of why there were no diplomatic relations or trade between the U.S. and China. These are from the archives at the Museum of Chinese America. Oh my God. The Chens are really amazing people. Mrs. Chen is my office mate. Um, Mr. Chen is probably more energetic than folks a quarter of his age. He moves tons of boxes. We call him the muscle. <laughs> and they're in their 70s. and and they still work six days a week. When we understand Joanne probably to going to join and uh, to lead the company, uh, I feel great, you know. You know, even we still work here like six days a week and um, Joanne is doing something that we, we don't know how to do. One of the things that I've learned since taking over this position is that family businesses can work. We talk about the business, but we also talk about family. We work side by side. I have two sons now, and I love that they're able to see mom and dad work with grandma and grandpa. It's so amazing. You know, my husband used to work at the store when he was little, and to be able to pass on this business and kind of save it, honestly, would mean a great deal, and that would be success.